It's been a long journey for me. I went from being perfectly healthy one year to finding out the next that I had end-stage liver disease. When my mom started to get sick, she started to have a lot of pain and was in and out of the hospital. She had uh, gallbladder stones and throughout that process, um, that's when they found out that um, her liver was in bad shape. My daughter was diagnosed with biliary atresia on April 2015. I just could not understand that this was happening to me and I kept asking myself, how can this be, how can this be happening to me? I went on the transplant list. The wait time is just unbelievable. For me, it was more like 10 years, and I knew I wasn't gonna make it. That's when we started to look through, you know, a lot of the options and the things that we could do to help my mom out, and one of those options was a, a living donor transplant. In the United States, there are over 17,000 people on the liver transplant list. Unfortunately, we are only able to transplant 7,000 of those people on a yearly basis due to the disparity of organs that are available for the patients who need livers. About one in five people die on the transplant list every year. Living Donation offers a bridge to life for these patients that could potentially die on the wait list. There is a huge organ shortage in this country and many patients are dying waiting for these organs. Not a lot of people actually know that you can donate a part of your liver while you're alive and healthy. The liver has the ability to remarkably regenerate itself and even when we take 60 to 65 percent of a healthy adult's liver, that 60 to 65 percent is actually regrowing within the first six to eight weeks after surgery and it will become full size again within those first couple of months. Live donation liver surgery is risky just like any other abdominal surgery. Uh, there's a risk of death ranging from 0.2 to 0.4 percent. There's also the risk of major complications as with any major abdominal surgery. There's a risk of developing chronic complications as a result of these injuries that could require further surgery or result in de debilitation in the long term. The actual occurrence of these complications is relatively low and approximately a third of the patients on our list are removed from the transplant waiting list without ever having the opportunity of getting a liver transplant. So we feel the risks are justified in pursuing live donor liver transplantation. The living donor process is a multi-step process that starts with teaching recipients about what the options are. Not a lot of recipients are very keen on the idea of living donation because they don't like the thought that someone else has to go through surgery. But what they don't know is that a lot of donors actually really want to step forward. To them, it's not about having surgery, it's about saving the life of their loved one. They apply to become a donor by submitting their medical history and their surgical history. They go through the most thorough evaluation, probably the best physical they'll ever have in their life. We are very frank with our donors. We want them to have all the information that they need to be able to go through this process and make the decision for themselves. After their evaluation, they are presented in front of our entire transplant team as we discuss the cases to make sure that they are a good transplant fit for one another, both the donor and the recipient. And once we come to the decision that they are acceptable candidates, then we can begin to look at scheduling the transplant for both patients. So the recovery for me, I honestly didn't expect it to be this easy because the way that the doctors would talk to me and tell me the consequences of the surgery. I expect it to be more, but it's just seeing the joy of your recipient, how healthy they are, how they have a part of you, and they're living just fine as you are. I think knowing that you could save a life is incredible. The doctors and the nurses here, everyone here at Stanford does a really good job of informing you, you know, booklets and stuff, references to websites. I also have my own advocate to advocate for me during the surgery. She was also really great. 
I start with the patients from the very beginning. Oftentimes donors are calling me before they've even applied, asking questions about the donation process and why exactly living donation is needed. I follow them through the transplant process. I see them as they're recovering after surgery and I follow them for at least a full two years afterwards so I can see how they blossom after surgery. Being involved with live donor liver transplantation is kind of a unique mixture of excitement and happiness when you get these patients through as well as a sense of dread because you're operating on a healthy patient that really doesn't need an operation. I have done uh, many living donors along the way. It's one of the most altruistic gestures. The liver is a fascinating organ and we take for granted all of the functions it performs on a daily basis. Filtering toxins from the blood, making blood clotting factors so we can form scabs and it helps us to fight off infections. When I was in training in surgery, just a few weeks into the fellowship, uh, Dr. Starzl said, you are going to do the first liver transplant. I thought it was going to be a setup that I was just, you know, this was going to fail. I did the liver transplant. The first postoperative day, this patient looked the same. The second day, he was beginning to move. And the third day, he asked for a pad of paper and he wrote down, what's for breakfast? And I decided, this is it. This is what I want to do the rest of my life. And I never look back. I kind of feel like if you're in a position to give, especially in a situation like this, you know, to help someone live longer, you know, it's almost like you have to do it. And when this opportunity arose for me, it was literally a no-brainer for me to want to step up and do it. I felt like I was really healthy and giving her a part of my liver to help her live longer. It was really an easy decision for me to make. If you have someone that wants to do it for you, if that's something that someone gives to you, there's always fears, but there's a chance for you to give back. It was my second chance at life, and so I basically made a promise to myself about what I wanted to do and what I was going to do, and I'm doing it. Personally, I love liver transplant we're able to make such an impact in someone's life. Liver transplant takes the patients that are on the verge of death, they're the sickest of the sick patients, and we can take that person and replace their liver, and within three months, you would have never known that they had a liver transplant. To be involved in living donor liver transplant and to make that dream a reality for more people, it's priceless. There's nothing I would rather do.